Hey everyone, welcome back to a part two of creating sprites for my FlowLab Pong game. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting to the artwork now that I've taken care of all of the uh, setup here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select my layer one. Uh, that is a empty layer here. Uh, if you don't have one, then just click on create new layer and choose an empty layer. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up to the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this uh, base rectangle, which is the, the, the base for the um, uh, paddle. So I could hand draw it, um, but there's also a shapes tool. And um, you can see that I've got the different uh, basic shapes here. And the shapes tool uses these two main colors over here. So if I draw this out right now, you'll see that it's the first color is the boundary, or sorry, the border. Um, and the second color is the uh, is the fill. Um, I'm going to undo that. Um, you can see that you have some other settings up here, like you have uh, the opacity setting, you have the stroke setting, and that's that's this orange that you see here. That's a stroke of five, so it's five pixels. That's why it's acting like that. Um, and then you'll see that fill is turned on. You can turn fill off, and then all you're getting is just an empty filled um, one there in which case you can choose a different color or you can, uh, you can really do whatever you want. So it's kind of important to uh, know what those settings do before you actually get started. Okay, so now that I've saved, um, I want to go ahead and start uh, doing some of the other uh, work in here. Um, so the rest of it is going to be just little decorative kind of stuff. So I'm going to just come back to this layer here and bring it back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, pause the recording and go ahead and do some of the other detailed uh, stuff that I want to do. And I'm just going to be grabbing uh, from the color palette over here and filling in this area here. And I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so I'm back and I just put in these little uh, these little panels here. Um, just a little comment on lighting. Um, so you can see that those chimney stacks have some shading, highlights, and shadows. Um, but the, the brown rectangle does not. And these little light panels do not. And so they feel very flat compared to everything else. So we need to try to balance them. So what I've done is I made a new layer over here and um, I'm going to go ahead and sample this really light highlight color, which is a really pale blue. And um, I've got a brush that has a really low opacity. So we're like 15% or something like that. And then I'm just going to go over very lightly, go over the top and then the left hand side. And what the illusion is that that's going to do my hope, is that it's going to create kind of a, a, a highlight, like a, like a glass highlight. And I'm just going over the left side of the triangle. Um, and I can then go ahead and clean it up uh, as I need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite. I'm going to sample this shadow color here. And again, I'll just kind of go over this side over here. It's a little bit of a darker shadow just to give the feeling that there's hopefully a little bit more dimension. Okay, so now I'm gonna go press E and get to the eraser um, and go in and do a little bit of cleanup here. And hopefully when I zoom out, they feel a little more three-dimensional um, we'll see. Okay, so it's not my best. I don't know if I, how I feel about it. I definitely think they don't stand out quite as much. Um, I'm going to go back in with the eraser. Um, and like the brush, the eraser can also, um, can also uh, change the opacity. So I'm going to make the eraser be not nearly as strong. There we go. And I'll zoom in. And I'll just go in here and I'll just lighten it a little bit. Actually, you know what I can do is I can just come over here to the layer and I can lower the transparency of the layer. So I think I'll try to do that just so it's not quite as strong. And then I could go in with the eraser and I could lessen it a little bit, something like that. Just 
tone it back so it's not quite so strong. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little tiny bit of shading on this brown rectangle here, and then I'll finish up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and cut this tutorial uh, and bring this over into Flow Lab, and let's see how it looks. It could look terrible. Um, so I've got this uh, layer here that um, I need to bring down. This is some shading and, and that kind of stuff. Um, I need to bring this down below the pipes. There we go. So now the pipes uh, stand out a little bit more. Okay, I need to hide my colors layer so that way I'm just getting that right there. All right, always a good idea to do another save as a PXD. And then to bring it into Flow Lab, you have to save it as a PNG. PNG, here we go. All right, well, that's being downloaded. I'm going to come back over here. Now, here's the interesting thing. My object has changed its size. So I'm going to go here to Edit. And I'm going to go to Edit Sprite. And remember that uh, this is 32 pixels by 96, but I actually need it to be um, 64 pixels wide, and I need it to be taller. So I'm going to come over here and click on the um, sizing tool. And down here, it's a little tough to see, but down here you have the width and you have the height uh, slider. So right now you can see that it says width is one tile wide, and I need to change that to two. And then the height needs to be five. So there we go there. So that should now accommodate my uh, graphic. So now I'm going to go to Upload, go find my graphic, and OK. Looks all right. Let's see how it looks in game. OK. That's not too bad. Um, it's definitely an improvement. I like it better. Uh, and I press Play. See how it behaves. Yep, it's working. So now I'm looking at it, and maybe I need to, you know, add in some more stuff. I don't know, some smoke or some steam coming out of the chimney stack would be kind of cool. Um, but there we go. Hopefully, this uh, tutorial helped you out, and I wish you great luck in getting some good graphics for your games. Thank you.